Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Um, now this one was suggested by somebody in our last video um, and if you have any suggestions for another video please feel free to comment them down below. Okay so the first thing you have to do is to look out and prepare some voice responses. So I've got two here. Hello to you two and how can I help you? I got these from a website where basically it's a text to speech converter so you can put in whatever you want and then someone else will see it. Um, so that makes it really easy for us just to implement this into the code. For example, we can replace this text and we can replace this as well with someone else's voice. So it just makes your code a bit more interesting um, and a bit more like, you know, what you find like with Siri or some other um, program like that. Okay, so the next thing we want to do here is to move uh, our MP3s into the same folder uh, as our uh, program so that it's easier to get the directory of them. Um, so then what, we're, what we'll do is we go inside uh, the program here and then we want to create uh, a new variable uh, and it's going to be called whatever you want it to be. So uh, it's going to be the thing that controls the audio and when it's going to be played. So I don't know, like audio. Okay, and then come down next line. Uh, so the way we're going to do this is to use the, um, the scripting object uh, called wmplayer.ocx. So the first thing we have to do is to set our variable to that object. So create object oh. and then can be as I said the WM player dot OCX. Okay. Um, once you get that done, uh, you can come down the next line and then just go audio dot URL equals and then directory of the audio file they want to play. So the first thing we want to do is hello, how can I help you? Which uh, because we moved it into the same folder as a program, we can just literally just write down the name of it. So, how can I help you? Oh, and I remember mp3 because it's an mp3 file. Okay, and then once we get to this part, we can just type in audio dot controls dot play and that's going to play it um, so the next thing is our little while command so you have them basically you can have uh, a condition which whilst it's true it'll do a statement so for this we want to make sure that uh, while the play state is not equal to one because one is when it's stopped. So when it's not equal to one, then we want to do, uh, we want to wait for 100 milliseconds, which is a tenth of a second. Uh, script dot sleep and then 100 milliseconds. Okay, and then we can end the while. So while end like that when I'll put in like that, and that says. Um, so then we can stop it by typing audio dot close. Okay, um, and that'll be that first part done. So if we well, let's see in that audio one. So we can have our second one, audio 2. Okay, and then come down a similar sort of thing. So we copy this and then come down to where we want uh, the next bit of speech to be done, which is here. Okay, and I'll come put a tab out here. Uh, we are tabbed. Okay, audio 2, audio to, and instead of how can we how can I help you? We want it to be hello to you too. 
I'm just picking that because that's why I named it, but whatever you named yours, if you wanted to do like audio one, audio two, then you could put that as directory there. Okay, and then remember to change this to audio two and that and that as well. Okay, uh, and that's buzz, so I'll save this. Save and I'll just overwrite what was last there and if we open our program just Hello, say, how can I help you? You can see that it said hello how can I help you and then you can do the same thing. So I can't remember what the was it hello? Typed in. Hello, how can I help you? And then it said hello to you too. Okay, so we can come out of there. Hello, how can I help you? Uh big gun like this. And yeah, that's us. Okay, so once we saved it, um, we can taste that out. So hello, how can I help you? Okay, so there it said, hello, how can I help you? And then, hi there. Hello to you too. Hello to you too, there we go. So as you can see, that's working very well. Um, and if you wanted to add in... Uh, hello, oh, how can I help you? If you wanted to add in more more voice commands that we really need to do, we just have more audio, like an audio 3, audio 4. Um, for example, we could do this one here. This would be more hard to do uh, the answer is and then a number because you wouldn't be able to have a predetermined uh, voice file for that because it could be anything. Um, but if there's other ways you can work around, I'm sure you could do a voice API or something like that. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of this tutorial. Um, I'll hopefully be up uploading a bit more regularly um, now that I've got a bit more spare time. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe uh, for more. Bye.